The government recently announced free conversion of 1 million vehicles to run on gas. Nigeria is the seventh highest gas flaring country in the world. About 800 million standard cubic feet of gas is flared every day from approximately 144 gas flare points across the country. In this video, I'll be examining the benefits and sustainability of gas-powered vehicles to the environment. Welcome back. My name is Oluko Kuntolu Lokwe. Thank you for joining me again. If you are new, please subscribe and let us learn together. Nigeria's government has announced the free conversion of 1 million vehicles to run on gas. This is to reduce the amount of gas flag in a way and also the cost of running an automobile in Nigeria. When natural gas is brought to the surface but cannot be easily used, it is burned for disposal, a process we call flaring. Flaring mainly happens when gas is produced as a byproduct of oil extraction. If there is no infrastructure to put this associated gas to productive use, it is simply burned off. Flaring is a serious environmental problem. I mean, the CO2 from flaring represents about 0.6% of anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions, and um, directly venting the gas as a methane would be even more worse, which makes flaring a better option in a way. It is usually associated with local air and noise pollution. Flaring is also a serious economic loss. According to the World Bank in 2017, about 140.6 billion cubic meter of gas was fled. Productive use of this gas would represent about $20 billion of value at the current price. Therefore, it is a welcome development to put the flared gas into productive use which has been established to provide a huge economic gain instead of being burnt off and causing more havoc to the environment. Think Electric Africa usually cares about sustainability and the reason we pursue the adoption of renewable energy and electric mobility across board. I will want to examine the sustainability of the gas-powered vehicle to the environment which is a project the government of Nigeria is interested in pursuing starting from January 2021. Some environmentalists have raised alarm to warn that continuous flaring of gas is an aid to climate change. However, in some other thoughts, climate change activists prefer gas to other fossil fuel. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. The plan is to convert 1 million vehicles to run on auto gas in the first one year starting from January 2021, though the decision is partly as a result of the backlash received on the recent hike in fuel prices and the electricity tariff within the country. The Nigeria Minister of Petroleum Resources feels it will make an economic sense to power your vehicles with gas rather than petrol or diesel, which is true. I find it very interesting personally and welcoming to power my vehicle with auto gas, though this is not a new technology, it has been continually used in different countries and especially with semi-trucks for many years now. Considering the fact that many vehicles currently run on petrols and diesels in Nigeria and they are not equipped to run on gas, the government has made plans to convert the vehicle with a kit that costs about 250,000 Naira, which is about 600 US dollars. The good news is that it will be done FOC, yes, free of charge. The plan is for you to get your car converted at no cost only to be paid for as you continue to buy gases for your car. It means a part of your gas purchases will be used to pay for the conversion cost for about 7 months or more. Do you think this is a good plan? Please let me read your thoughts in the comment section below. Now, how does vehicle running on gas benefit the environment at a time like this? A time when many countries are looking at decarbonizing their energy and transport sectors. Many countries have even brought the dates forward to phase out the use of um, combustion vehicles in UK, India, Australia, Canada and many other countries. After all, Nigeria also signed the Paris Agreement and in their national determined commitment promised to reduce carbon emissions by 20%. How do you realize this if you are not promoting technologies that can speed the process like renewable energy and electric mobility? 
I understand this is out of desperation for economic gains on the side of the government and the people, so to say, as the cost of gas is usually lower to that of petrol and diesel. I just want to consider the good and the bad it does to our environment in the face of the ravaging climate change that doesn't look to be slowing down at all. There is a report that natural gas emits 50 to 60 percent less greenhouse gas when combusted, and if considering the tailpipe emissions, it emits 15 to 20 percent less heat trapping gases than petrol and diesel when burned in vehicles. So, you could say the use of gas is somehow environmental friendly, right? The truth is, it still emits carbon and 50 percent less is not zero emission. The government needs to start taking the commitment very seriously. What seems to be a great ambition of the government come 2021 is to convert 1 million vehicles to be gas powered. National Bureau of Statistics said 11.6 million vehicles are registered in Nigeria. Knowing that a larger percentage of the number was imported as used or vehicle crashed in accident. I'm curious to know the percentage of the vehicle that will qualify for such conversion process. Except safety is thrown into the wind, many vehicles flying Nigerian dilapidated roads will cause more harm to the people and the environment if converted to run on gas. I bet the government did not consider that the gas continues to build up prior when heated. The temperature of Nigeria combined with bad roads that rocks the body of the vehicle that is already not so good, involved in accident or so, which may loosen up the gas pipe fittings and uh, connections may result into severe explosions. We have seen this before. My conclusion, the government should rather convert the gases to electricity generation. Nigeria still do not have one hour of electricity per day. What should be the great ambition of the government is to make use of these gases to generate more electricity for the people. Invest in more gas turbines for electricity generation. Allow each state to generate their own electricity using a mixed grid that is together with solar panels, hydropower plants as it is available in different states. Supply these gases to these locations for 24 hours power supply or at least 12 hours a day. I do not see much sense in converting vehicles to run on gas when every individual still depends on generators to power their homes and businesses. It is more reasonable to provide electricity for the people to cut the use of generators. This will also encourage the use of electric mobility quickly and high productivity across sectors. This is the way Nigerian government can show commitment to reducing carbon emission in the face of this ravaging climate change. The government must be reminded of their commitments and realize that this should no longer be business as usual. Let me know what you guys think about this in general. As for me, this project of running on gas is a bridge to nowhere. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I wish you a fun filled New Year. Please like and share this video and I will see you in the next.